All right. Time for a Remus game. I will be playing against the Master Yi here, which is a very good matchup for me. I hope I can get a leash. I want to start on top side here because... Taunt, he says. Okay, well, I am still going to start on top side here, I think, because ganking for top lane doesn't do anything for me. So I'd rather just start top and then clear down so I actually have some gank opportunities. Because I really don't think I'm going to get that gank on that Teemo. Or for that Teemo, he's just going to, like, push out the wave or something. It is what it is. Just some top laner that doesn't want to help me out. It's okay. Like, for me, like, getting a leash on bot lane, sure, it would speed up my jungle clear, but it leaves me with pretty much nothing gank-wise. Because, yeah, again, I wouldn't be able to gank the uh, GP anyway. And on top of that, also, the GP can insta-cleanse my E. Which is even more annoying of a gank, so I really just don't want to go for that. I normally don't need a uh, potion at all. Maybe if I don't get a leash, I might like get into some situation where I might be a, a short on HP, perhaps. But we'll see. Generally, it tend to be pretty full HP. Uh, because my W is actually up here, I'm not going to smite this. Because this is going to go down pretty quick, and I'd just rather use it on Gromp at this point. On this side of the map, you want to take your taunt because it gives increased attack speed uh, over your Q. On the other side of the map, your Q is better because it speeds up the time or the distance between camps. Uh, which, if you do red frogs into raptors, you have to walk a very far distance to get the raptors. So that Q is going to save you a lot of time there, plus it's obviously AoE damage as well. So, yeah. So, Timo did all that, like, top lane cheese thing, and he's still down. Bad. That's interesting. Oh well, it is what it is, man. What happens? Yeah, a little bit less healthy than I would usually be. Definitely took a bit more damage, but it's okay. That is some aggression there on bot. Interesting. I mean, my bot lane won, I guess. I think I'm just gonna. I'm definitely just gonna finish the full clear. Timo is getting absolutely decimated. That's interesting. An enemy has been slain. My laners seem to be doing well, apart from top. Let's just finish my full clear. I can definitely look for like this full clear into a potential bot gank. That's a good chance. I don't think they would have their summoners right now. Trisana is also not a champion that can freeze, so that's kind of good for me, you know. Because that champion is automatically going to push always. I have to go for the Thresh. Yeah. Should just be an extremely free kill. Oh, thank you. He actually gave me that kill. She stopped hitting it. I really like that, honestly, for that. Because that kill's gonna allow me some nice items on this recall, which I definitely wouldn't mind, you know? Stana right. seems to be dead again. Ah, oh, she's alive. She, actually, I could probably dive this. I'm gonna be quick about it, perhaps. Let's see. Maybe she's recalling in stupid places. No! Ah! I should have just ran into the minion wave instantly and just tried to go for the taunt. That would have been the, definitely the better play. Even, yeah, maybe even cancel my Q and just run in for the taunt. I'm gonna take it back here. Mostly you can't do anything to, like, hit Teemo there, so that's kind of good. Okay, we have enough money for the Bami Cinder. If you don't have enough money for, like, Bami Cinder on the back, get the Bramble Vest instead. Wow. Um... If you don't have enough money for Bramble Vest, then I don't know what you're doing, because that should easily be achievable uh, with just a full clear. This dude is gonna die. That's not good. The wave is not positioned well for Teemo, so this is just he's just gonna be allowed to recall for free. Meh. Whatever. Are you struggling? Interesting. I feel like Timo has the advantage in that matchup as well. I'm kind of surprised. Not sure what happened. I 
just gonna go for another full clear you just gotta keep the tempo up uh, we're not gonna look for any type of ganks if my camps are up really that's like a big thing premise clears pretty quickly and you definitely want to make sure you keep scaling up premise is very good with levels so definitely gonna keep keep the tempo going on that one you know oh not gonna matter i wouldn't be able to reach the trash gank I might be able to gank mid still, but we're gonna have to wait and see on that one. Now let's see if he recalls in like a super safe place or if he's getting greedy. Very safe. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go bolt then. My Q should be up in time. Oh god. I think this works for my team. It does. They are winning. Okay then. I think bolt lane's over. Like the obviously my my bolt lane won initially, but then like after I also ganked them on top of that, I don't think they uh, it just yeah. it's just done, you know. This could be a little risky. I'm just gonna do this on spawn since I think this guy wouldn't be able to get here in time. But I admit this is very risky because my bolt lane would not be able to help me in a situation like this. So if that someone does show up, that Boltland is going to have an advantage and I will die. But if I can take this, that'd be great. Keep using my taunt for attack speed. Perfect. I use my W on this camp. This camp is probably the slowest camp for Remus since it doesn't hit you back. You can't use your W to speed it up. Generally, if you have a smite for scuttle, use it for scuttle. This guy should be dead at least. I can't do anything against him. I shouldn't have ulted because my taunt's on cooldown, so it wouldn't have mattered. I never would have been able to have enough damage to kill. At least I got, like, the counter gank on it. I can just run top here, and that's what I'm gonna do. Run through river, see if I can get the, uh, the, the gank on this guy real quick. He doesn't have flash, that's very good information, thank you. Let's go for it. He's gonna instantly cleanse this. Unless he doesn't have it. Really? Okay, we're good, we're good. He doesn't have flash, so it's nothing too much to worry about there. The Teemo should have probably kept walking with me because he had plenty of HP. There's a ward here, fair enough. He had plenty of HP to be fine. Oh no, my bolt lane is lost. That's really rough actually. That's a big, big one for uh, Master Yi over there. Oh, he took my blue in return. Interesting. Okay, fair enough, Yi. Both got each other's blue buff. He probably has dragon now. I need to look towards recalling soon. I have enough CC reduction mercs are useless uh, to get. Definitely just steel caps. Be able to reduce the damage output from their team greatly apart from Echo. I Means still something a little bit, but nothing major. Instead of recalling right now, I'm just gonna take my time here to clear these camps so I can like keep getting experience basically. Keep getting the tempo. There's 100%, like, it's a 100% chance that that dragon is gone here, right? Surely. Really? Did he take my rep buff then? Or did he just completely back off because he got a bunch of kills and wanted to buy something? Because if, if it's the last one, I'm very happy about that one, you know? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Waste of my ultimate. I mean, fair enough, he got the kill, but kind of sucks for me, really. Oh, he walked around, okay. I do it. I'm down to do it. What, dude? Are you serious? Man, fuck you. That is so annoying. Him taking my, my cuddle there really sucks. I do not like that in the slightest. I have to focus on dragon. 
They should have just been hitting Dragon the entire time. At this point, I'm just going to have to go for it. And that's just not good. So not only did... Oh, whatever. I'll get the Dragon. Dude. It's whatever. I, I CBA. You could say just go for Dragon there, but that was what my bot lane could have just been doing the entire time as well. I'm a little bit... Uh, little tiny bit annoyed by that one. Whatever. I could have technically just not gone for the scuttle whatsoever and just burst it down dragon as like a main priority as well, I suppose. But felt like if they would just start hitting dragon, it would have been fine regardless. It's minus one red buff. Double kill for Pike. Who came away from me, you mani- I do not like you, Pike. I do not like you at all, buddy. He denied me, like, four hits, because he has Hill of Blades. He would have hit me so frequently there. He would have basically just insta-killed himself. That pike literally just almost let that Master Yi live on that one. Because I got the taunt off, which means he at least hits me three times really fast with Hill of Blades. But he only got to hit me like once. And then pike insta-hooked him uh, like away from my taunt so he couldn't hit me anymore. Which is absolutely disgusting because that pretty much saved him there. We had to like hard dive and almost risk it for no reason. I'm not happy about that one. And obviously this guy has all the wards on the planet. I don't know, man. I'm quite annoyed. That was some BS. Not know if he has his thingy up. Nope, can't finish him off. Alright, uh, well, let's just move on from that and hope he never does that again. When it comes to one of you ones between me and Master Yi, I don't think he stands much of a chance. He's gonna hurt himself a lot when hitting me. I just need him to actually be able to hit me, you know? Nice. Ran down. Smart. I'm gonna have to rotate real quick. I think. Hmm. He's definitely doing my Raptors here. I have to go bolt. I can't go top here. I just have to go for this. Killing spree. Definitely did that. He might be doing my Krug, so I'm just going to go there quickly. Oh, oh, oh god. Look, if he just gets to hit me, he basically just dies really, really fast. Perfect. I can easily go for the dive. I have plenty of armor to tank third, and I see a pike with ult uh, going after me. That's good. I'll take this. This scuttle shoot. Nope. Never mind. I don't know if they can actually get this one, being honest. This one's a bit scary. I have to be quick, quick here. Alright, perfect. Got it. I don't think this is water because we see a red dot here. So my ideal situation is I go for this. Mossy is not going to go in on this. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Dude, there is no way you didn't see him. Okay, well, he's gonna die. Please suicide at least the turret then. We got this. Perfect. We got this as well. I am gonna have to walk towards Dragon here real quick. I need to be fast and... Yeah, there he is. I'm going for this. Perfect. Again, Pike didn't hook there to actually like get mo let most of you get hits off, which is great. That's what we want to see. Also, another thing, 65% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Interesting. Fresh here. See the echo. I don't think I could have gotten this one really. Definitely don't do this. Ooh. That was a close one. I was debating whether I tanked that or not, but I thought it was going to be out of range. I mean, it was out of range, but it was very, very close to actually uh, ruining my Varus there, if you know what I mean. Oof. Very close one. Getting very strong here. You can see clearly see here, by the way, I'm not rushing a mythic because I don't think the Jokshio... Like, Jokshio is Ramus's best mythic, in my opinion. Uh, but it's not worth the first or second item compared to these two items. Unless you have a massive AP threat, of course. If you have a big AP threat, then getting the Jokshio is a lot better. We... I don't want this guy to do Rift Herald, basically. I need to hover my Misfortune as well a bit better. He's gonna kill himself on me real quick. Or not. Or I'm just dead. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn. The Echo ult did a lot of damage to me there. Obviously, I don't have any magic resist at the moment. So getting hit by the Echo ult definitely sucks big time there. Also got hit by the W stun, I believe. Mossy was like one hit away from dying. I was very close. That's okay. Probably should have ulted in faster. What happened there was very unfortunate because he just flashed over the wall and insta-queued the Misfortune. And I could not actually get the taunt on him before he reached the Misfortune, which was what I was hoping for. I was hoping to just be here, you know, and then be able to, like, instant taunt to Yi when he tried to go walk in, but he flash queued, so... I made things a little bit more awkward, you know? I mean, it's... yeah, it is what it is, really. It's okay. F there isn't great, but it's not too bad either, because mastery doesn't really matter. Like, as a whole, like, he's gonna die anyway, you know? No problem. Now I just have to get Juck Show and then I'll be pretty much unkillable to the Echo as well. The only item I really need. Could consider going like an extra magic resist item, but I'm not sure yet. Like I think I'm gonna go for random ones after Juck Show because crit against that team is really good. Like crit here, crit, crit. I mean, he's probably not gonna go crit E actually. Probably kill this guy. Two people bolt. He doesn't survive this. I have way too much armor. There he goes. Kind of a close fight-ish. He's a true damage passive, which does quite a bit. But... Oh my god. My team is uh, kind of losing, eh? Not sure how I feel about the Varus go. I'm just going to use my Baron Recall real quick. And get to that play quite fast this way. 
Oh god, oh god, please be careful, Teemo. I just need to get my taunt. That dude's dead. And I can chase this very easily because of this. That's a good hook because he can't flash over the wall now. Are you serious right now? Right. And look at this guy actively trying to take my camps. Holy moly. That Tristana is crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I feel like I... I don't know if I herald here, to be honest. I still have plenty of time to hold it. The good thing is, like, if, if I'm in W and the monster decides to start hitting me, he will literally die. Like, it's, there is nothing he can do to hit me and actually get away with that. There's no way he does enough damage to me, basically. So, he, in that situation, what you just saw, like, I went for Thresh. But if the monster decided, like, he wanted to hit me back or something, he will literally just be dead. Oh, okay. I'm gonna save them, I guess. This is more luck than anything else that the dude didn't have enough burst. She placed her ultimate slightly better towards the bottom side of that. That would have been great. Very good. Got him on a lockdown there for the pike to hit him. As you can see, I'm also using my blue, the blue smite thing to my advantage to get a lot more mobility. I hate it here. I'm gonna have to use my Herald, so I'm kind of using it like... I'm just gonna use it right now. My team is standing extremely far back here, unfortunately. Herald should be able to get the bounce. That's all I really care about. They should get the third, right? Oop, Herald does less damage now. Still good enough for me, really. Oh god. No, this is bad. I might be able to like bait him into this one. Oh, that works. I can defend my Varus here pretty effectively, luckily. I'm gonna go for the Echo. I think I'll be fine. Oh, he missed! Oh, that's bad. I need to help him out. The only choice I can make there is go help that guy, because if I chase the Echo, that would be not be good. Okay, I'll just do this. Didn't get my W off, unfortunately. Whew. Very, very close one. <laughs> All right, not bad at all. I won that team fight, luckily, but that, that the problem there was that Master Yi was waiting in a very good flank position. And I ran up to go check for Master Yi, and then he kind of flanked my misfortune and insta-killed her. So I wasn't in a position to insta-taunt him, which was a problem for that fight. Okay, I guess if she doesn't want it, I'll take it then. I, uh... I want him back here soon. I just want to spend my money, get the Juck Show here. I think one magic resist item would not be bad, so I'm going to go for the Force of Nature with it on top of it, so the Echo doesn't hurt me whatsoever. Do I go Bolt here? I think I may be going bolt here. I'm going bolt here, probably. Make sure I hit the bushes here. He just jumped. I can probably use that to my advantage, hopefully. Just hit me, please. Thank you. Just don't miss your pie kill. Beautiful. Let's go.
And the enemy team have heft. All right, beautiful. So our last item here, I just get the Force of Nature and then any other tank item. Probably Stone Plate. Stone Plate works really well with Jack Show as well. So I'd probably get Force of Nature into Stone Plate. And I'll be pretty much unkillable. But yeah, that is it for Ramus. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button below. It helps me quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so for the endgame stats here as well, I ended up doing 18k damage, which is very respectable. I didn't out damage my Varus, but he got like very, very good damage in, especially towards like some later fights as well. So understandable. But as a full tank, basically doing pretty much the second most damage on the team is very solid. Nothing too bad there. Through smite, which is just blue, uh, which is just smites. <coughs> we have damage to objectives at only 11k. A uh, Remus's objective damage when you're like doing dragons and stuff necess isn't necessarily as high uh, as it could be in the first place, but. I mean, try to get this pretty high on junglers as much as you can. Healing done, not too much. Damage taken should be a good amount here at 27.1k. Yep, very solid. Self-mitigated damage on top of that is 38.5k. So just, again, doing the job here, being the frontliner, trying to tank as much damage as possible, trying to be as annoying as possible. Uh, it's your role. Obviously dealt a very good amount of damage as well. It's the second highest as well, so... Looking pretty good there. Not bad at all. Gold urn at 12.3, which is actually the most in the game. Interesting. Okay. Aftershock dealt like a thousand damage, mitigated something. And it's just nice to have, really. It, it Especially with like Jock Show, you can go in, use the Aftershock for like initial engage, and then stall out more and more time for Jock Show to kick in, essentially, like in your W as well. Uh, yeah. Front of Life for some, for some ally healing. And then conditioning for resistances, unflinching, and tenacity for just CC reduction, which is always great. If they don't have any CC, then you can just go like overgrowth and like attack speed here. But generally, these two are a very good combination. And then triumph for some extra like sustainability in fights and also some bonus gold. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.